Does mm. it feel like 25 years? Uh, it doesn't, no. No, I haven't changed, have I? Not at all. all. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I've been eating Christmas cake every, every year <laughs> since. Stop it! Um, yeah, it, no, it just comes out every year and, and you hear it every year, so it's, it's, I'm blessed to... Well, yeah. it's a nice anniversary yeah. today because the 3rd of December is the yeah. exact date it yeah. hit number one. Yeah, ah. I had a number one with it, yeah, 25 years ago. And it started life um, as an album, just an album track, didn't it? Yes, a very, uh, very delicate album track that was never to be released, ever. Um, but people liked it and I, and I kind of said, no, you're not releasing that. You can't release that because it's kind of a personal one. And um, having no control at all, it got released and became the biggest hit we so ever had. So explain why this song is so personal. Well, I, I used the... My brother committed suicide a couple of years before and I used that as the muse to write a song about loss and turn it into a love song. I didn't write my brother a love song. I wrote, uh, I used that yeah. as the um, loss behind it and also a friend of mine lost her father. So it's kind of, it was a really personal song mm. and uh, it was just a, to stay on the album. No one would know about it. And uh, they people just heard it and it was just so surreal. I'm like, of all the songs on the album, you've that chose was the that one. one. That was the one. But it just goes to show how far we've come. We're talking openly about yes. mental health, yeah. particularly oh, yeah. men's mental health, actually. Yes. Because, like you said, you wanted to keep that private, whereas yes. now people are more likely to discuss these things, and yes. quite rightly so. And, yes. and that's why, by singing this today, you, you're releasing the single again with... Calm, yes, you? this is for a charity uh, that looks after guys that feel suicidal because as, as males, we tend not to talk. We're yeah. not very talkative and you never know what's going to happen. So, yes, this is with Calm uh, and all the money goes to charity and hopefully, you know, being on your show, this might help someone who, who, who might be feeling so low. They can ring Calm and that's what you do. You have to ring because uh, to have those thoughts are... They're, I won't say they're not normal, but they're an emergency. When you start having those thoughts, you need to ring someone and you need help. Yeah, there's a way out. There how is did, a way out. Just hold on there. How did this uh, How did this happen? Whose idea was it that you should... It was Laura's from the record company and she had the idea last year, but it was only 24 years, so it didn't make sense. She had to wait so a year. So she had to wait a year. <laughs> yeah, and then she... And then at that time, then all this, as she said earlier, serendipity happened with, it was the um, Borough of Culture in Waltham Forest and... You're all from Walthamstow, Wolfen, the band was... Yes, from the Wolfen. band was from Walthamstow. And you've um, got some friends with you today who are this yeah, is the why choir. they're making it so special. They're amazing and this is just a little section of it, there was over a hundred of them and all their parts and there's a 30 piece brass band and it was all written by Joe Dudell who scribed it all out for them and they sound amazing. You really, we were listening, listening to rehearsals earlier. Really yeah. emotional it's listeners, so treat. beautiful. They've all got big you. smiley faces too, <laughs> huge smiles. Um, what, about, uh, what about you then? Um, uh, life is good. Are you, are you new granddad? New, uh, yes, I'm a granddad. Oh. Yeah, so my, my baby's had a baby, which is very surreal. Is it weird? Is it, weird when that... it is because you think you're going to be quite, you're not going to be attached to it, but you really are because you're very protective over your children. Yeah. And then your children as a child, and then you're like double protective. Yeah, and, lovely. But it's great. And you go through all that. I'm really looking forward to going through Disney and all that again and the cartoons on TV and yeah. all that stuff. Oh, you're going to have a nice Christmas. Oh, yeah, it's going to be the, the first Christmas as a granddad. Yeah. Lovely. And what, what about the, the band? I mean, it would. Does it, is it ever discussed that you'd have a, you know, uh, a, a moment reunion. of getting together? I don't know. I, I think, I mean, you can never say never in the future, can you? You can never say never. That's what I think. Mm. That's what I'll say. But at the moment, not today. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, well, and I've got this. to lose about eight stone. <laughs> I definitely can't do those moves no more.